Hello, I'm Terry. Yesterday I messed up an attempt at a video showing the making of the classic Enterprise from this AMT 3P set. Basically I'd not set the camera properly. It was my first ever attempt at a video and I messed it up. So today I'm going to be trying to make this guy the... it'll be the 1701A Enterprise by the time I'll finish the one in the last three original series movies. So yeah, today I'm going to try to get the camera angles right and hopefully we'll have a usable video. So these are the part trees for the A. As you can probably see it looks fairly simple. Nothing we need to do so I'll open it up. Now I should mention I'm not just going to do a simple quick and easy assembly, I'm actually going to try to make it look good, it'll be painted, decals on, etc. First things first, I'm going to get rid of all this black writing here, because as you can probably see it shows through quite clearly. Through the plastic and I'd need to put several layers of paint on to get rid of it. This is not a huge kit, I don't want to put thick layers of paint on so I'll get rid of that and it'll just get a couple of fine layers of paint to get rid of it. So abrasive stick It's all gone. Can no longer see anything through there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut everything out and check it over. As you can see from the instructions, it is not a complex build. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven pieces. Should be nice and simple, but I want to make it look good. So, as you can see, part tree is now empty, removed all pieces, so now I'm going to quickly clean them up. Removing any large lumps or anything of that nature. If you're a young person doing this, cleaning them up with a knife is possibly not the best of ideas, but I've been doing this for years, I've got plenty of experience, and if I cut myself, I've got only myself to blame. There's an awful lot of flash on this kit. Flash is the leftover plastic on the edges where the seam lines were suggesting the moulds that we used to make this were a bit worn. As I go I'm just cleaning off any lumps, any flash, extra material that's not needed just to give a reasonable finish. I'm then going to assemble various sub-assemblies perhaps put together various sub-assemblies would just sound it better but never mind. I'll continue with the theme of serious mess ups when I'm trying to film. The battery died halfway through the last section. So, what I've done is I've put together various sub assemblies, I've cleaned them up using abrasive and blade, and now I'm about to start painting. These kits are going to get a few different coats. It will start off with a white undercoat and I'm hoping I've got enough pearl white left in the tin to 
plain for you because that's the colour they're supposed to end up. If not, I'll use pearl clear on top of a white primer which should come up with a similar, well not identical effect. Okay, so that's one side painted, and I need to leave it 10 minutes, and then I can turn them over and do the other side. Okay, I've finished painting everything. She's got a nice pearlescent finish now. Not sure how well this is showing up on the camera there, but I'll take some stills to her post just so you can see. Yes, I'm taking them right now. I will place those in the video if I deem it necessary. So yeah, next stage is for decals. This here is the sheet for the A. Very detailed. You've got a beautiful pattern for the saucer. You've got the lettering decals, but it looks like they've clearly separated the A off, so you can make it as the 1701 or 1701A. You've got pretty much everything. Even a blue bit for the navigational deflector. So I'll start with the saucer. I have a glass of water here. Now, it looks like these lines here are supposed to be slits to help it go together. So I'm going to have to be a bit careful with cutting this out. Okay, so I'm going to cut along each of these little slits. Hopefully that helps it a bit better. Now I'm immersing it in water and I'll leave it to sit for a minute. I have here some decal fix solution which is supposed to help the decal stick better to the model. I've not used it before but I'm going to try now. So the directions with extremely small writing here. Uh, apply thinly to the model before and after the decal is positioned to help soften and soften the decal and help it adhere to the model. Leave overnight to dry. Okay. So I'll dive the top of the saucer section with this. And by now, hopefully, this is loose. I should have just totally cut this into these separate sections. I'm going to correct that mistake now. So 
first I'll apply the back section where the neck is. Okay, the decal is not sliding very freely on this stuff. Okay, it now looks in place, and I'm not sure how well that shows up on camera, but boy has that made a difference to the texture of the saucer. Okay, I've taken a still so you can actually see it. Now for the next section. This time I was a bit more careful with initial positioning and it's gone on dead easy. So now for the next. Final section. And wow, what a difference. So now I'll go over it again for Deco Fix Solution, see if I actually make a significant difference. Okay, so that's the top of the saucer done. I think I'm going to need to leave it a while to set before I can work on the bottom of the saucer. So now I'll attack the nacelle struts, I think. These green ones should be for the inside, the blue ones for the outside. So 35A ought to be this side of this nice L strut. So again, dip it in water and attack the strut with the decal solution. Also do the other in a strike while I'm at it.
so the first one should be ready. Again, I want to get it positioned as precisely as possible before getting it off the film. As I discovered last time, this decal fixing solution isn't good for sliding the decal around of a model. looks to be in position and again boy has that made a huge difference to the level of detail this thing has okay so that's both the NSL struts and it looks great probably going to take me an hour or more to get everything fully decaled up so I'm just going to leave it there for the moment. Okay so I've done the majority of the decals now. There are still a few more to do if they can be done after final assembly. So, you guessed it, I'm now going to perform a final assembly. After the minor debacle last night, when I tried to go for final assembly, I have left the main decal strike of the night, but I still have some more to put on, but looking pretty good. I'm not sure how well these are going to show up on camera, so I'll also take some stills. This is far from perfect, but it certainly looks very good and would have taken me many, many hours to get the level of detail with a paintbrush. Okay, so now before I go any further, I'm going to apply some pearl clear paint which should seal the decals to the kit so when I come to apply the other decals later they'll have you know they'll go on without peeling off these ones Okay, I was going to do pearl clear, but this can doesn't seem to want to spray anything, so I'm going to have to go regular clear. to dry, turn them over, spray the other side, then I'll get on with main assembly. Okay, so the clear coats of all these pieces have dried. I'm now going to do the final assembly. So, I've scraped the paint and decals off the joint areas. So, I'm just applying a out of the liquid post iron cement and then pushing the part together. So that's one I feel. The second nacelle is now going on. Okay, that's the second nacelle fixed. And 
finally the Sosa section. Okay, that's her all together. So, I'll leave her for a few minutes for the paint to dry, but I'll do the final set of decals. After that's all done, I'll show you the finished article. So here she is, the finished NCC 1701A, a 2500 scale by AMT re-released by Round 2. Decals make her look amazing, especially for such a small kit and with so little painting. Next up will be the Enterprise B from the same set. I hope you've enjoyed this, or at least found it informative.